Good evening. Um, today is Sunday, March the 17th, and I'm leaving for Edinburgh on uh, Tuesday. But since Monday is a super busy day for me, since I need to get everything ready for a week's holiday uh, on Monday, work wise, I mean, well, everything wise, I thought I would pack today and get myself sort of neat wise ready for EYF. And I thought I would start the vlog here. I will be vlogging um, while I'm there, not every day, because I do want to, to sort of disconnect from all, <laughs> all, so, uh, all media, pretty much, screens, everything. Um, but I will be vlogging the days I am at EYF and probably because I do love um, uh, filming and taking photos, some footage of Scotland or anywhere otherwise. But so that that vlog won't be super long, I thought I'd do sort of the prep beforehand and just put out a vlog of me getting ready preparing for my trip to Edinburgh. So right now the um, sun is setting. Um, it's actually snowing pretty badly again. Uh, we had rain, we've had sun plus degrees and then again more snow. This is so frustrating but it, it happens pretty much every spring. Anyway, um, enough talk about the weather. Anyways, um, let's get ready. So, of course, I'm gonna be bringing knitting. Even though my track record for knitting while traveling is not the greatest. But, um, I will. I should have time to knit. So, I'm gonna be bringing this shawl, my latest shawl design. Um, a, I need to be working on this. And B, um, I'm quite addicted and I can't wait to see how my idea will work out. So it's looking quite interesting. So I've uh, knit the sort of center panel and then I've picked up stitches to knit around it. So I'm working a shawl in the round. Don't know if I've ever done that before. But yeah, so this is coming with me most definitely. Um, I'm also, since that's not very portable and since it is a design where I do need to um, do calculations and plan and write down notes and um, just pay attention to what I'm doing. So that's probably not good for knit nights or sitting down and knitting at the marketplace. So I'm gonna take the scrappy socks. I'm, <laughs> to be honest, I wish these were done already. I just love to cast on for a pair of simple socks with a pretty yarn. Not that these yarns aren't pretty, but um, I've just, I've had enough of these. But I do want them finished because I will love wearing them once they're done. So there's a good bit of leg to do on these. So I'm going to pack this one. It's fairly easy, although I do need to count my stripes and remember to do the cough increases. But other than that, this is relatively easy to knit. So I should be able to do that even, even if I'm talking at the same time. So bringing that in, the good thing about this is it's very portable. Um, one sock would be more portable, but I do need to have the other one so that um, I can see where I've done the increases because of course I haven't written anything down. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it fits into quite a small bag. So this is my portable knitting. Then it's confession time. So in my podcast, I've been saying how I want to wear the sweater to EYF. So this is the Mon Mene by uh, Yonna Hieda that I'm knitting on. Oh gosh, I hope I haven't dropped any stitches. So anyways, um, I've still got the other sleeve to knit. One sleeve is done. 
one needs to be done. I've got two evenings before I leave. Um, not sure if I can do it. I don't know how much knitting time I will have. So since I am leaving on Tuesday and EY, I won't be at EYF until Friday. That does mean I have quite many days to do that. So, but it means that I will probably need to pack this as a whip as well. And I still need to skein this one um, to be able to start the second sleeve. So this so far has taken four skeins of iron weight yarn and I've got this one more, um, which is enough for the sleeve. But we'll see if I can finish this. But um, I'm going to skein this up and call that a travel width as well, so not to put too much pressure on myself. So let's go do that right now. In case you were wondering what this all is about, um, my mom gave me these cuttings that I've got in a jar of water right now, waiting for the roots to come in. And then I'm going to pot it here. I found this at a flea market and I think it's a good size for them. So they're just, they're just there waiting, waiting to, waiting for me to do something. Um, I did read that it takes ages for these to grow roots and that basically you could just put them, um, in the soil right now. But I think I'm going to do that like after, after I get back home. Just the sweat knitting, I'm always spending a lot of time thinking about what books to bring. So I'm going to bring my Kindle that I need to recharge. And yes, this is a very, very old Kindle, but it still works. And I only use it when I'm traveling, so um, I'm not looking to update that <laughs> anytime soon until it breaks. Um, I've got Diana Gabaldon's outlander series in here and i'm rereading it currently i'm on book three so i would quite like to read on that while i'm in scotland um this i love how light this is so i'm probably going to bring this to um, the plane then i still haven't read that if you watch the day in the day in the life vlog you saw me got this from the library but i still haven't read that but then i do have these pocket books i've actually got quite a pile here these are all books that i've picked up from our libraries sort of um bring and take um shelf where people can bring books they're no longer lined like their own books, not the library books, their own books. And then you can just pick up, pick up what you want from there. Sort of a recycling sh shelf. So these are all books that I've uh, found there. There's, um, there's a thriller or what do you call them? Suspense novel. I've read The Girl on the Train and I really liked it. So this might be one. Jenny Colgan's Little Beach Street Bakery. So this is um, um, a nice light book. What set of books do you like to read when you're traveling? Do you go for the page turners or something light and fluffy or um, maybe something nonfiction, more meaningful? What's your um, favorite type of book to read while traveling? Of course, I'm going to be packing knitwear with me. Um, I think I'm going to take fold lines that I just released with me just because I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. Uh, so I'm going to take that with me and that's probably going to be what I will wear to the marketplace. I think we're going to put on a dress and then this on my shoulders. That should be a good cover up 
but not too hot. Um, then I need a hat. This is something checked. Uh, it's a pattern by Stephen West. I've knit it several years ago um, and it's one of my favorite hats. I am gonna leave the house probably wearing my new pads shawl. Um, I love how cozy it is. It's gonna be a lot colder here. Well, not a lot, but still a col colder here than it is in Edinburgh. And this will also be a good layering piece in case it is chilly there as well. I'm gonna put on my hot cocoa mats. And then I'm gonna take um, my magnolia sweater, I think. I'm gonna take a pair of jeans and this magnolia sweater. I do plan on going for some hikes, day hikes, so um, this is definitely going in my bag. So this is my Trace the Sweater Knit out of Let Lopi um, um, that I also haven't had a chance to wear yet, so it'll be perfect. Well, that's the first. I started editing this vlog last night on Monday night, today's Tuesday morning, and last few clips just wouldn't play anymore. I've never had that happen to me before. So you haven't seen me knit on the sweater, you haven't um, seen me show you my progress, and you haven't seen me end this vlog. So I thought I would come in here quickly before my breakfast and heading to the airport to thank you for watching. And do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and i will see you next week with um the vlog from edinburgh yarn festival and i will show you my sweater in that one as well um hopefully the finished sweater uh, i need to get going now thank you happy knitting and see you soon bye